When you say ABC, what do you refer to? ABC, where we think of our, our, our television, Australian Broadcasting Commission, but yeah. It's a, it's a different network. Different network. Mm. None of the same uh, news biases? Not the same. As an Australian, it's quite funny to come and see the bias of, say, Fox News, for example. It's, uh, you always assume that uh, news would be neutrally balanced. It seems a little bit different here in the United States of America. <laughs> okay, well. By the way, were, were you keeping up with the election? I think the whole world was keeping up with the election. Uh, I've been coming to America for a long time. I love America. I've got so many friends here. Uh, I'm probably concerned about it just as everyone would be living here. Um, I, just, I just don't want to see the country tear itself apart. It's, uh, it's quite funny on the news to see uh, the results like the Hispanic, the black vote. It's, it's kind of strange. I've got friends that are Mexicans, Hispanic, Chinese, etc. I mean, I don't call them as black or Hispanic. They're just my friends. They're just Americans. I kind of figured Americans would just call themselves as Americans rather than uh, uh, chopping themselves up into different demographics all the time. When did you arrive from Australia? I flew in, uh, I only got in about four hours ago. And uh, I, uh, I saw in Memorial Day on a Qantas flight, we had a minute of silence on the Qantas flight and I was hoping to get to the cemetery, assuming that there'll be some uh, Memorial Day happening at this ceremony, so at the cemetery. Mm. Why would Qantas have a moment of silence for the American Veterans Day? Well, it's uh, Memorial Day is, uh, it's the 11th, the 11th, it's uh, celebrated in Australia, America, the UK, it's... Uh, it's to be Armistice Day? Armistice, yes. So it's well known of the veterans and the Australians, the English, uh, the Americans, we've all gone to war together for so long. So Australians are very respectful of their veterans, uh, whether it's Anzac Day or uh, Memorial Day. Uh, we always like to stop and say thank you for our, our freedom. Mm. Uh -huh. Most Americans are not aware of the American-Australian alliance in World War II. Would you talk a little about it, please? You know, Australia has always gone to war with, with the Americans. We've always kind of stood... Alongside. Uh, alongside. Yeah. Al always alongside. And we're, uh, we're uh, still uh, alongside uh, with the Americans at all the, all, the, all the different wars. In fact, one of my closest friends uh, was in the Australian 2nd Commando Unit and was killed with a whole bunch of your Marines on a joint, uh, joint operation in Afghanistan. So. So I just felt like I just wanted to come along and stand by side with the Americans and pay, pay our respects. So, mm. How did the Americans uh, do by the Aussies in uh, World War II? What was the threat to Australia? Well, Australia being an island and being so far away, uh, J Japan was always a threat. Darwin got bombed. Um, did, did Japan intend to conquer Australia as well? Oh yeah, Japan was intent to conquer definitely Australia and many other places as well. So, but I mean, Australia and America are so alike, both the people and the place. And I think we all have the same values, and I think we all stand for the same thing. So I think I think we all it's important that we all stand together. Uh -huh. um, there's a Japanese couple here uh, who, who came, and I thought they they came to uh, apologize for the Japanese people who killed the Americans who were buried here. Mm. But 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 their view is different. Um, do you, are you aware of how the Japanese view uh, or teach history and, and view the situation of World War II today? I don't, but I can only speak from an Australian point of view. Uh, speaking to a lot of the old diggers, which we call our old uh, soldiers that have been imprisoned uh, with the Japanese and under some horrible conditions, a lot of them have forgiven the Japanese. They understood that they were soldiers just like they were sent to war. Um, some are still very bitter. Um, at our ceremonies now, it's amazing. We've kind of got Japanese soldiers uh, standing alongside Australian soldiers, which I think is kind of nice in this day and age that people can reflect and um, understand the, the horribleness and evil of war that we can last stand as one as humanity as such. So, mm. but these Japanese people were told that they uh, they moved into throughout Asia uh, in order to to liberate the people from uh, repression. What do you think about that? liberate people from oppression. Well, it's funny still in this day and age that they're still using that kind of propaganda and uh, people are still taking over countries with those same old lines, but yeah. Were the Aussies or Kiwis under oppression? No, we were, can't quite say Australia or New Zealand's been under any oppression. We live a pretty easy, fun going life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But, but even then? Even then, yes. We were doing quite fine without any uh, Japanese intervention. <laughs> okay. So you defined yourself as a political liberal today, right? 
Uh, pretty much. Uh, I mean, it's 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 tricky. There seems to be such a harsh version of the left and the harsh version of the right in 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 America. There doesn't seem to be any common sense or sanity in between. I mean, unfortunately, in Australia, we're the same. Both parties, one person will come up with a great, great idea, but the other party will just go, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, only because they're Liberal or Labor or, dare I say it, Republican um, over, over, over here. So it's, it's, it's a shame. I, I would have thought there would have been more cooperation between different parties these days. Mm. Right. Which city do you come from? I come from Brisbane in Australia. Oh, Brisbane, which mm. is on the Gold Coast. It's Gold kind Coast. of like Los Angeles, isn't Very it? Very much like uh, California. Beautiful beaches, beautiful blue sky like this. Uh -huh. Little less traffic, but uh, yeah, beautiful spot. So is it a lot? Is it more like Florida or LA uh, or San Diego? It's probably more like San Diego. Yeah, a lot less people, a lot less traffic, but still, uh, still that fun-loving uh, beach kind of environment. Mm. With China and North Korea the way they are in, in, in your hemisphere, mm. how important do you think having a, a, a military deterrent is today? I think it's uh, very important. Uh, a lot of these countries are so unstable, you've only got to look at North Korea. I mean, who would in this day and age think that kind of madness goes on with a population that has absolutely no idea, no information from the outside world? I mean, I'm in China all the time. It's still, it's still very communist, it's still very nationalistic. It's, um, and the, the, the population, it is a, a, a huge machine, I, th I think. Got to be slightly careful. I'm sure it's fine, but uh, in, in our part of the world, it's good to have good friends like the Americans and the English. And mm. but how about the Australian military? Is it a concern of both North Korea and China? Not, not really. I mean, we've got a very good military, probably one of the best militaries in the in in, in the world. It's very well trained, uh, very well equipped for such a small population uh, for any kind of outside uh, threats. But I mean, I don't think we're uh, in, in fear of uh, like China coming down or any, anything like that. Mm. Not, not coming down, but China expanding, expanding. throughout. Expanding, mm. yeah. It's a, I mean, China just with the population, they're just wanting more resources and everything like that. But they'll probably take us over just like in America by buying most of the, uh, most of the places like the farms and, uh, and, and factories, etc., and the, the mines. So, mm. So a lot of takeovers these days will probably be done by electronic uh, funds transaction rather than any soldiers on the ground. Mm. Great point. Thank mm. you very much, Heath. Mm. No worries. And, and, and any other points you'd like to make? Oh, just, uh, what's... Oh, no, it's good. I think the, 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 the Australian and the American relationship's always been so good. It's, uh, it feels kind of honoured to just turn up to a, a cemetery in Los Angeles after only being in the country for a couple of hours and been welcomed in by the locals, which is, it's kind of got a nice feeling to it. So, mm. it's, it's because we don't understand Aussie rules football that we, we appreciate you, you know, you, you, that we think you're great. It's rugby league and uh, rugby union we've got to get you guys into. That's uh, a, a, lot, a lot tougher. <laughs> We can't quite figure out this gridiron stuff. There's so many players and so much padding. It's very, very confusing. <laughs>